input. No, I just wanted to introduce us and to say that um, please don't mind us. Um, we're not going to put this on television. It's going on Discovery's website. Discovery Health has a website, and they, um, Dr. Gunther is one of the doctors who work with them, um, and they make short documentaries which they put on their website about the people in their arena. So that's what we're doing. So, sorry, you're not going to be on TV. <laughs> but we will be very glad if you'll play with us and just let our camera person is Natalie. Just let her be around and please do pretend you're not seeing her. Pretend you don't, you're not seeing the camera. Thank you. Enjoy. <coughs> Okay, good afternoon everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, it's good to see all of you again. Good morning. So what you say? Good morning. Good So it's, I'm, I'm glad to be back. You will remember I was here with you for the first session and I'm so glad I came to that first session because it gave me a sense of who you are. Uh, and the kinds of things, the kinds of activities that you enjoyed. Today I've got a very packed program for you because today we're going to pick up on what you were talking about in the first session. Can you remember what you were talking about in the first session? I'm going to ask you leadership, right? You got introduced by Prof. Dadao to leadership. Um, and I'm going to pick up on some of those things because this after all is the youth Leadership Academy. So what is it that makes leaders, that makes you into leaders, and that's what I'm going to talk about a little bit. And the education part is about learning, and so you'll be learning as you go, and that's how I'm going to be in the education piece of today. It's quite a fact though that I'm going to get you busy doing stuff. So I uh, hope you've brought pens and you've got your books and you don't, we've got paper, we've got some extra pens. So um, I'm looking out now for those labels that Prof. De Raal said you had to make. And I see some, I see some, but I don't see all of them. So the first thing we're going to do is, I want all your voices in this room. And that's why I'm sitting in a circle. I know some of you are shy. But that's okay. Your voice is still your voice and we're going to get your voice into the room. Because as future leaders, you have to have your own voice. That is one of the most important things that leaders do, is they have voices and they make themselves heard and they stand up when they need to stand up. So we're going to practice that today. And we're going to start off by, I'm going to ask you to go around in the circle and to tell me who you are inspired by. Who is a leader that you are inspired by? Now I can see some of you saying, oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll start just to give you a sense of who inspires me. So I'm going to ask you these to do these three things. One, to say who you are, my name is. Put your voice in the room. Put yourself into the room. You are who you are. Okay? So my name is. And then secondly, I want you to say a leader in my life who inspires me or who inspired me. It could be somebody that you don't see anymore. It could be your grade one teacher. It could be your grandmother. And then to say the reason why. And the reason must just be one short sentence. Otherwise, this is going to go on the whole afternoon. Okay, it's not a story, just one short sentence. So, spend just a few seconds thinking about who that may be. The first thing that pops into your head. A leader who inspires me is. And so I'll start. And then whoever wants to follow, you follow and then you go to the left of that person. Okay. Okay. 
So I'm going to start, and we're not going to go to my nephew because then it would make it Dr. Jeff. Unless you want to do it, Dr. Jeff. Okay. So my name is Denise. Can you remember my name is Denise? Yes. Yeah, you were introduced to me in a different way. I used to teach at Chapman, so just down the, down the road, I know there are a few of you from Chapman. I used to teach at Chapman, and I lived in this community, uh, and now I'm at NMU. At so a leader in my life who inspired me, uh, I'm going to say R uh, because it's plural, I was an English teacher, uh, are my two sons. And the reason they inspire me is because they made some serious mistakes in their life. But they picked themselves up. And they are now making a success of their lives. So that inspires me that you can go right down to a place of really having messed up badly. And then you pick yourself up and you say, this is not going to continue. And then you go forward and you have a renewed sense of what you're going to do to turn that around. And that has inspired me. I've got two sons, and so they are my leaders that inspire me. Okay. So who wants to go next? <laughs> There we go. And the person next to you, I believe, 